Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video. And as you can see, I have a double page six by eight layout happening here. And these are some more photos from Portland. And yes, it's a fountain. <laughs> we had heard before we went that there were several cool fountains downtown that we should check out. So on Sunday, after we had done something else, we decided, all right, we're gonna go into downtown and find these. And this was the first one and it was kind of misleading because hopefully the picture shows it. When you walk up, you just see this flat fountain here. And we thought, really? Is that it? That's that's not very exciting. And then we thought, okay, well, we'll walk, you know, around it and see what else there is. Well, then, of course, it's very dramatic on the other side and then flows down. And they have these little stones you can walk across. And it turned out to be great. So I do want to scrap those. I'm going to need a pocket card here. This is a four by six space, but I have a three by four photo that's gonna go there. And then I need a three by four pocket card here. I think I want to do either this color or this color to bring out what my friend and I are wearing. Now, this kind of orangey brown is already seen in the building. So this is probably a better choice, but I don't know exactly what I have in that color that might be functional for this. We'll see what happens there. And then the other thing I want to point out is this photo. I made this in the Project Life app, and so I purposely did a four by four here, and then two two by twos. And I think what I'm going to do is put some washi here to delineate these. I may or may not do something here to separate them. I think these are easier to differentiate, especially if the washi is already here. But we'll see, I don't know. Kind of a new thing for me, so we'll see how it goes. But that's what I'm starting with, so it gives you an idea of what I have to work with here. I went into my stash and looked for cards and I thought maybe I would find one that had some good journaling space, but not, not really, not for what I wanted. And I know that on the next layout following this, the next set of fountains, there will be journaling space. So I'll have a chance to talk about them then. So I'm not going to worry here that I can't journal. So I think I'm going to go with this one because I absolutely love the color and I can stamp something up here if I want, put a big embellishment here or something. So it still gives me options even if I don't journal. I have my stamps sitting here that are specific to Portland and the Pacific Northwest. And both of these have a stamp that says downtown. That one and that one. But this one is quite a bit larger. So I think that I am going to use that one because when I hold it up here, it fits pretty well. I can get it right in there. It leaves me room for a staple or an asterisk or some kind of embellishment if I want it. But there's room, but it really shows the downtown better than if I were to use this much smaller stamp. Because these stamps are still new, I decided to season it with a pencil eraser. So I have that here. I did that. And then I did a test just to make sure I had good coverage. It looks good. So now I'm going to do it for real. So there we go. And then I just want to have it about like that. There we go. Perfect. When I was looking at this, I was trying to figure out what I could put there. And I liked the idea of an asterisk. And I found these from Allie Edwards. And this kind of burnt orangey color I think would be perfect with the building and then with my friend's shirt so I'm hoping I could squeeze it in there I didn't think about how big it was before I did the stamping but I think it'll fit look at that it fit in there perfectly so glad that my haphazard choice worked out and then I know I had said I would consider washi here but now I'm wondering should I take one of these bigger ones in the same color and put it right here at the apex of all three of those. It's the right color. It would add in some visual interest. But then it makes me think I need a visual triangle. So if I have one here and here, I need one somewhere. Well, let me think. If I have here and here, I could go off to the side here. It just needs to be up here somewhere so that I can get that triangle in there. And I'm hoping I'd be able to figure something like that out pretty easily. Even if it's just a label or whatever, I kind of, I like the idea of it and it would make this layout go super fast and be really simple. And I'm all about that. 
Well, I made a little boo-boo. When I tried to take this off of here, they're supposed to be adhesive backed and just pull out nicely. This one did not. It took off part of the backing part there with it so it didn't come off well. So now I'm going to have to put a glue dot on there to get it to stick. So I have that and I'll just do one right in the middle and hopefully that's enough. Well that ain't go as planned either. When I tried to use the glue dot it just ripped off more of this part of the backing. It would not stick to it. So that had to go bye bye. So I ended up finally just doing my mono liquid glue so far. That seems like it's working. So I'm just gonna leave that there while it dries and try not to mess with it too much. And that actually gives me time to think about what else do I wanna do here. I do have to have something else for my triangle. So I have to figure out where is that going to go. I'm thinking maybe right here. Cause if I lose this little roof thing here, who cares? It's, it's not really significant to the photo. So I think maybe I could put one over there and then I need to figure out, well, what else am I doing here? I don't want to just leave it like that if I can find something else because it's kind of blank and boring. All right, on my desk, I had some pieces of labels that were already cut. And I showed these off in a previous video, I think, where when I don't use the whole thing, I save the ends because you never know what you might use them for. So I had a bunch and one of them was this one. Now, this is a little smaller than I would like. <laughs> Makes it a little hard to fit anything in there, but I'm going to use it. It's pretty darn close to this color. So I think I can do it like right here in the middle to give me my triangle. And then I'll have to use the smaller one. There's no way this big one will fit, but I can use the one small one that I have left in that same color to make my triangle. I have attached the cut off label part there and I was much more careful when I took this one out and the backing stayed on so now all I have to do is peel it which is the way the other one should have happened but didn't there we go so that's how it should have gone and then if I just kind of go like this and overlap it oops like so yeah I like that so let's see how that will look if I line these up does it give me good triangle I think so that that works for me all right and then I still have to figure out what to do here because it's too blank for my taste so that will be my next task I pulled out my envelope of miscellaneous ephemera pieces here that I thought I might use for Portland and in there I found this discovering new places it's even the right color. It's a little bit lighter than what's here, but close enough. I'm not going to argue it. Let's move this here. Here we go. So it definitely works with that. And then what I'm trying to decide is, I don't know that I like it smack in the middle. I kind of like it here off to the, the side, sort of staggered with the other one, or maybe at the bottom more. I just feel like if it's smack in the middle it, it looks weird to me for some reason so it's either going to be right here or like that that leaves me a lot of room too which you know what no i'm just going to go this way because i like that better so i will attach it i have that down towards the bottom where i want it and i think just to add some visual interest i'm going to put in some staples and hopefully that'll just jazz up the card a little bit so I'll go about halfway here. There we go. There we go. And those are in. And I think I like that. Is that enough to call this complete? I think so. I don't think I really need to do anything else with this one. I'm happy with the way it looks. So here's another one finished for Portland. Thanks for watching.